Hi everyone, it's Daniel McCabe here at GI Energy again. We've been talking a lot in the office the last couple of weeks about the best orientation for your solar panels for your home to maximize the benefit and maximize the amount of money you can save with your solar panels. So today we're gonna to look at, is it best to put your panels on your west roof? Is it best to put them on the north roof? Or is it best to put them on the east roof? So the way we're gonna do that, we've done two simulations, exactly the same house, exactly the same energy usage, and exactly the same charges for energy and feed-in tariff for energy sold. The only difference being the low profile. So scenario A, we're gonna look at what we would consider to be a typical home, which would be a family of four with two children at school age. The second load profile we're gonna look at is for somebody that leaves the home very early in the morning and gets home very early in the afternoon still when the sun is shining. So then we're gonna do a comparison for the same solar system. So for this example, we've used a 10 kilowatt solar system on every single one of the scenarios. And then we're gonna have a look at the difference for the amount of energy produced, the amount of energy used versus the amount of energy sold, and then what that actually means for dollar savings in your bank account. For this example, we're gonna use a feed-in rate of six cents for energy that you sell back to the grid. You'll get six cents for an energy that you purchase we've based that on 20 cents a kilowatt hour. So let's check out that first load profile first. So this is what we're classing as a typical family load profile. You can see there's very limited use during the day after about nine o'clock in the morning when people have left the home and then when people are getting home, school kids and uh, parents are coming home from four, four o'clock onwards, that load profile increases and then it dips again overnight until early morning between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. when everybody starts using appliances in the morning before leaving the house again. We'll take a look at the western roof first. So in terms of production for the western roof, you would produce 1,000, sorry, 13,737 kilowatt hours with the panels all on that western roof. On the eastern roof, you would produce 13,633 kilowatt hours. If you did have enough space to put all of your panels on a northern roof, you would produce 15,342 kilowatt hours of energy. So the northern roof is the clear winner if you had enough space to fit that whole 10 kilowatt system. Let's look at the utilization. So in terms of exported energy, on the western roof, you would export 72%. On the eastern roof, very similar again, you would export 71%. And on the northern roof, with that higher production, you would put export 74% of energy. So what does that really mean to you in dollar savings? It means that if you put your panels on the western roof, you'd save $1,448. On the eastern roof, $1,441. And on the northern roof, $1,560. Those figures are all quite similar, particularly if you're comparing east to west. Now we're gonna have a look at the other low profile and see how those figures change. It's pretty rare that you would get an opportunity to have all of your panels on that northern roof. So more often when this question comes up, it's people deciding whether to put the panels on the east or the west because they don't have the remaining space on the north. So on this example, it doesn't make much difference. However, let's check out that other low profile. So this is our uh, row profile B. You can see how it differs and how there's much more energy being used in the early afternoon because this household is leaving the house very early in the morning. So it's still 30 kilowatt hours per day, the same as the first one, but it's structured differently in terms of when that energy is being used over a 24 hour period. So same solar system, same production figures, but the export will be different. So if we start with the West again, you'll see that you're exporting only 65% of the energy versus the first load profile where you were exporting 72%. It's important to note here that exported energy is never worth as much as used energy. So the lower that percentage is, the higher your savings are gonna be. Now if we take a look at the same load profile on the eastern roof, that solar system would export 72% still. On the northern roof, it's gonna be quite similar at 71%. 
So what does that really mean in terms of savings? Well, let's take a look at the figures for the Western Roof. The Western Roof on this occasion you would save $1,581. On the Eastern Roof, $1,431. And on the Northern Roof, higher again at $1,643. The point that's really valuable here is you need to look at your load profile before you decide where to put your panels. So the east is going to be better for some people, but clearly for this load profile, the western roof is going to save a lot more money for this person. The typical family load profile didn't make much difference. So they could have put their panels on the west or the east, and it was only $7 difference across the whole year. But for the second load profile, for the person that's coming home early, it's making quite a significant difference. So you really need to think about how you're using energy as well as how the energy is going to be produced. Because under these two examples, the solar production figures are exactly the same. The energy charges and amount that you're being paid for your export is exactly the same. But there's a fairly, different, fairly big difference on that load profile B for the person that's coming home early in terms of how much money it's actually going to save them. So that's why we wanted to do this video to show you that there's not always a straightforward answer of east is better or west is better. North is always going to produce more energy. It's nearly always going to save you more money as well. But if you don't have that option and you're looking at an eastern and a western array, you really need to look at your low profile as well as all of those other factors. We can obviously help more with this to talk through with you how you're using energy and identifying the best orientation for your solar panels. So if you'd like to know a little bit more or you are trying to make that decision as to where your solar panels are going to go, please get in touch. One of our consultants here can go through a list of questions with you to try and build up that load profile. We can use our software here to do a simulation for you just like this and we can work out which is the best place for your solar panels before you actually make that decision and start getting something installed. I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's answered some of those questions for you. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll hear from you soon.